Hey Sean, um, uh, Dream 11 uh, back on in St. Lucia. Um, how exciting uh, is it just to have uh, cricket at this level back uh, on island? It's always exciting to have cricket in St. Lucia. Um, Dream 11 is a big money tournament, so a lot of the cricketers are excited about this um, um, opportunity to earn a, a living playing cricket. So it's just a another another form of format of cricket is a, a more exciting, more fast paced um, form of cricket. And they, you know, um, St. Lucia enjoys the um, shorter formats of cricket. Obviously, St. Lucia has had uh, success uh, recently in the under 19 and the 15 tournaments at the winners level. Guys going on to do well at the regional level as well. Um, how many of the young players are involved in this particular competition? The, there aren't as many young players in this tournament as there, there normally was. Um, I think South Castries probably has, and Schwazel probably have the, the youngest teams out there. So there's no development as, as per se in a T10 tournament. So it is not the best um, format to, to have your youngest players um, performing at. When you look at uh, the performances uh, from last year, you know, settling in what this is what, the fourth edition of the Dream 11. Correct. Um, when you look at the performances from last year, um, what are we looking at building on for 2023? 2023, well, one of the first things that we always want to do is ensure that we have a proper um, pro product going out. So um, the, the patrons in, in India and the diaspora have been saying that the feed that we're sending out is perfect and it's an improvement from what we did last year so we're excited about that um, so now that we've ensured that um, the, the patrons in india and their diaspora are getting the, the best possible feed then we can now try to ensure that we provide a local feed so tomorrow that's our next step so our, our intent is always to build on what we've done so we've ensured that we have a good feed good product and we we will we'll ensure that tomorrow that we 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 and um, that our local public can enjoy what we have on offer. Talk to me about the first game today. Oh, the first game was a surprise. Monaco, the defending champions, the number one team in, in the tournament, came up against um, the number eight ranked team in the tournament, and the number eight was able to pull it off. Um, what what happened was that um, we thought North Raiders were able to pull together what was a, a more formidable sport and and that they were able to do through the draft so if you notice they had they had players from grosley from central castries and even from labry some of the best players from labry to, to bring together to f ensure that they had the best possible si um, team for their, their squad 